We're gonna start by pouring two large bags of uncooked macaroni into the bottom of our disposable baking dish. Now we have two large blocks of Velveeta in the bottom of our dish, and this is gonna melt down beautifully. We have one stick of butter. We're just gonna cut it off into little pieces and go around our macaroni here and just drop it down. This is the easiest macaroni recipe you've ever made. You don't even have to cook the noodles beforehand. And this is perfect for the cookout or a barbecue. We have one pint of heavy whipping cream. We're just gonna go around and pour it on top of our macaroni noodles here. And we have half a gallon of milk. We wanna make sure these noodles are completely submerged with that milk and cream and we used almost the entire half gallon. We got a little bit left over. Now you can season this with your favorite barbecue rub. I'm using this honey hog from Meat Church. We're gonna do quite a bit here because we have a lot of macaroni. We're gonna do about four tablespoons on top of everything. And you guys, that looks wonderful. We have some freshly shredded sharp cheddar cheese here. We're gonna go on top. And we're just gonna cover everything here. And then we're in Texas, so we've gotta use a pepper jack on top of that. This is a nice spicy pepper jack cheese and it's gonna be so delicious. Now we're gonna cover with foil and we're gonna throw this in the smoker. Our smoker is preheated to 275. We're gonna throw our mac and cheese on here. We're gonna cook this for at least two hours, come back and stir it up. It's been a little over two hours and our mac and cheese is ready to stir. We're just gonna take the foil off, take our spoon, and go ahead and start mixing all this up. You wanna make sure all that Velveeta gets mixed in. We have a big neighborhood cookout tonight and everybody wanted to bring my famous smoked mac and cheese. So here it is. And we're gonna add a special topping to this. We have two cups of Cheez-Its that we have ground up in a bag. We're just gonna take little handfuls and just spread these over the top here. We are gonna make a delicious crunchy topping for this. Grab a little cooking spray and we're just gonna spray the top of this. And then we're gonna add some more of that barbecue rub and just sprinkle that over the top. This is gonna be absolutely delicious, you guys. We're just gonna smoke this for another 20 to 30 minutes, come back and we're ready to eat. All right, after 25 more minutes in the smoker, our smoked mac and cheese with the seasoned Cheez-It crust is completely done. Let me scoop right out of the center so you can see how cheesy this mac and cheese is. You guys, look at that. We're gonna serve it in our little cast iron bowl here. This is the perfect dish for any cookout. Let's try a bite. That is so good, you gotta try this.